Hi, this is Caroline, Dream with Caroline, and today is Watercolored Wednesday. Hashtag Watercolored Wednesday. You can see everyone who is painting with watercolors today. It is uh, hosted by Tanya from Side Gigs Crafts. So thank you, Tanya, for today. I have new watercolored paper. I taped it down, but as I put the water on, as you would for real watercolored paper, uh, you can see that it bubbled up. Too much water at one time? Not the right kind of paper? What am I doing wrong? I don't know. So I've been using the little sketchbook, you know, that was made from homemade paper. So I, I've never put the whole page with water, but I thought this is water colored paper. It's a new pad. And if it taped down so the bubbles wouldn't happen, but there it is, it happened. So I went ahead and kept on going anyway. I thought, well, I'll just show how watercolors can, you know, spread out from water. But as it was doing it, the paper was drying, and I was still applying watercolor paint. Uh, it became a mess. <laughs> Sorry, but there it is. Uh, so it was a cheap little watercolor pad that I bought. I didn't buy anything too expensive because, you know, this is not real. It's just whatever um, for fun and a little bit of craft. But I still went ahead and I tried to have a joyful day, relax doing it. I just said, well, I'll make some mountains and just show how, like, different colors will show the distance for mountains and so yeah but um as i applied my watercolor to this wrinkled paper that is now drying it was obvious that it wasn't going to be saved at all so at the very beginning here you know that i'm not saving this painting and i just went ahead and filled it in kind of thing so there it is. We need to put the background mountains purple and then the next mountains blue and then the mountains get a little bit closer or light green and as they get real close they get darker. So that's the way I look at mountains anyway for colors. If this was happening in you know, oil, this look this would look completely different right now. Um, because oil is very vibrant and with um, the watercolor if I want to lighten that down now I, I add water to it but then the paper was getting torn it was it wasn't working and the more water I put on it um, the more those now you know it really didn't look so bad when I was painting it as it looks here on the video because on the video uh, you're seeing the shadow of the bumps, but while I, while I was painting, you know, face on to it, I wasn't seeing that shadow of, of the bump. So I just kept on painting anyway. But it was like appearing to me like shadows of people. <laughs> now in the video, as I uh, you know edit the video and try to break this down a little bit faster because I know it's it's not worth watching really uh, those shadows start becoming like shadows of people like legs and a body and heads and there's like five it's like me and my sisters <laughs> all home this kind of looked like Newfoundland scenery if it's a bit off from the the mountain range is is not so high and and but still it almost looks like home and um, so I, I went with the idea that it looks like home as I was painting it because you know it gave me water and you know sky and mountains home Newfoundland but now when I look at the video you can see 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 the shadow the three and then there's two more shadows and there's legs involved there's like shadows it's almost like you don't see the painting in the background anymore. All you see is the shadows of those people. <laughs> Spooky. Ooh. So, there it is.
<laughs> there's more to meets the eye in this painting. Yes, indeed. But green and blue. You know, that would be my first two colors that will be used up the most. It's a green and blue. Those green mountains and blue water and blue sky. But the more darker you put it, like here, the more darker you put it, the more forward it's coming. So you have to mind that too. You don't want to put the background too dark because you're pushing that forward. You want to keep it back there. But look at those legs and the bodies. If no, if I was painting that, if I knew that those shadows were there, I would have just forgot the scenery in the background and just went with those shadows and people walking along. <laughs> yeah, it takes on a whole meaning, a whole different meaning. But there it is. I didn't want to, didn't want to throw it out as a video. It's it's a mistake and a half. And uh, I'm still not used to watercolor, you know, because the more water you put on, of course, the worse the paper it gets. And I, and the way I'm brushing, that's not the way you should paint with watercolor, really. You shouldn't, you know, scrub your paper. And I knew it was, I knew, I just knew what I was doing by this point. I knew that, you know, this is like I'm painting uh, with acrylic or something, like I'm pushing the paint around. <laughs> Uh, watercolor. I don't know. Well, I think I'll go back to my little sketchbook, my little leather book, and uh, and I'll keep it for my nature watercolor. And uh, it will just be small, little, you know, gestures of nature, a tree or a branch or something. I won't try a whole landscape anymore. This really did it. <laughs> I'm just like tearing the paper. It's just like the paper is rolling and I don't care. I'm just like gotta smooth all this water out. Yeah. There's a new way of painting with watercolor. You keep on brushing until the paper tears. <laughs> and you blend that paint till it's water. But if you see it, if you can still see it, that's the bay, that's the water. <laughs> what a laugh! <laughs> I'm painting over all this scraping. Yep. I want to see the picture. I want to see it finished. See what I mean? When you make it dark, then it pops up. It's, it's bringing it closer, right? It would have been a good acrylic painting, but not so much for watercolor. <laughs> uh, this painting no longer exists. I scrubbed it until, like, you know, all the blue came off, and I just took it off the desk and threw it in the garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still want you to see the landscape. Of course, like I say, I wasn't seeing that shadow when I was doing it. I was just seeing, still seeing the landscape, but only in the video you're seeing those shadows. But if you're still with me, you enjoy watching my videos, <laughs> please like and subscribe. <laughs> you know, some days are diamonds and some days are stone. Do you like that bit of blue up there in the corner? That sky looks so pretty with the white, big white cloud. And that's another thing. I didn't even touch the white. 
There is no paint on the blade. That's just paper. That's not. That's not right. You're not supposed to do that. And here I go. Flattening out that water. The bay is nice and calm today. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still painting. Yeah. And the vision is still in my head. Yeah, it goes on a little bit. If I knew that I could see those shadows when I make the video, I would have painted them right in. The people would have been standing right there. <laughs> that would have been fun. Okay, have a great day!